what is the perfect diet that we should a be ketogenic having? diet a ket- a low a, a a low fruit low vegetable ketogenic diet and that's not coming from me that's coming out of every country in the world today every so you, you think we have in the united states the department of defense who's in charge of the best diet for the most elite soldiers right you're in the united kingdom you have your you have a counter agency to the Department of Defense of America that's telling your most elite soldiers, low fruit, low veggies, ketosis. Yeah. And you go, well, why? Why do I need this ketosis? You heal faster. You have less diseases. You mm-hmm. pass on less genetic uh, problems to your offspring. Your offspring are born superior to you. And that's the, the most important thing, I think. What? My oh, offspring, okay. in, my, my, my son will be born superior to me if I make sure me and my wife don't eat fruits and vegetables, the forbidden fruit prior to conception and during conception. Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, when you go well, now, now why sugar limits your body's ability to remove damaged cells and toxins, damaged cells and toxins that disrupt the epigenetics of a growing baby. Yeah. Um, why is there so much sugar and everything then? Cause it, now it stops you from thinking. While you think you're thinking. So uh, now, now that's a good question. It dumbs you down. Okay. So why do, when, why do they want to dumb us down? So you don't question things. Now, when you think about this, if you don't dumb yourself down, you might be the competition. Right. Um, they but want the if, power if, and the money. Now, you think about it. If, you are, if your parents didn't have fruits and vegetables – and we're in ketosis when they created you prior to, right before conceiving you while you were conceived, you'd have been born smarter than you are now, healthier than you are now. And then they taught you every week you need to purge sugar from your system. How much you'd literally be a hundred times smarter than you are right now. You'd be competition, mm-hmm. That's right? You're compet- no, and the, 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 the top of the world. We don't want competition. Now uh, the pro- reason is because then you question things. You go, I was told only Jesus Christ gave me my daily bread. I, I fasted and now, yeah, no, the sun does too. The son of God in the sky. He's, but I had to fast to get that education, to understand that information. Sugar prevents people from seeing that. Okay. Um, yeah, but you, you know, you, you can't develop cancer without sh- contaminated sugar from fruits and vegetables, which is fascinating. You can't at all. No, sugar needs, before cancer can metastasize into actual cancer, before your cell can turn into cancer, it needs contaminated sugar. So if you never have sugar, do you need sugar for anything? Yeah, you, you, so your, your liver makes sugar for your brain. So we do tell you, you can't live without sugar. That's true, but it's not sugar you eat. It's sugar your body makes. Your body so makes the sugar you need. There's never any need to ingest any sugar. None whatsoever. None. Okay. Your, really your, your, your liver today, well, I don't know if yours will because you have probably haven't been practicing, yeah. but you, it's a muscle. You have a muscle. There goes my AI. Nailed that, right? Uh, you have a muscle that's responsible for creating sugar in your body. But if you eat sugar every day, when do you use that muscle? Never. And if you never use that muscle, now that you're a young adult and you try, it's going to be very hard, right? Yeah. Jeez, that's mind blowing stuff. Yeah, your never, body makes the sugar, but we train you to 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 weaken the muscle that does it. I never We've trained you to, to lose that ability, and that's this very interesting. You go, well, why do people suffer so many complications in their old age? They've lost the ability to create pure sugar in their sleep. You go, what? Yeah, their liver. It's sixty years old of eating sugar every day. My liver can no longer create the the the, the proper amount of pure sugar while I'm sleeping to fend off diseases. You go, what? Yeah, in biology, you lose your ability to, what would happen if, if I fasted every day? Oh, you'd still have it when you were 70. You go, so we actually train people to get diseases? We training, we're training your parents to get some kind of sickly disease. That's crazy. Is but they, they don't even know it. Is it ever too late to start? It's never too late. Okay. It's never too late to start. It's just harder. The later you start, the harder it is. Yeah, it's never too late. It's just harder. Yeah. And how do you resist the temptation? You you just got to do it, man. I use I use uh, artificial sweeteners, fake like 
you know, a, a zero calorie uh, coffee creamer. Yeah. Or, you know, coffee, so it's fake sugar. I taste it. My body goes, oh, finally, sugar. It, it takes 20 minutes, literally. It, mine's from 20 to 30 minutes for me to start going, I want sugar again. Because my body goes, there wasn't no sugar, you liar. So I just trick myself. Every 20 to 30 minutes, I take a sip of fake sugar. My body thinks I got it. And the thing about when, when you taste sugar, your pancreas floods your bloodstream with the sugar it does have, removing it because it thinks you're getting ready to replace it. Okay. So it's, right? when, it's I, when I'm tasting sugar, my pancreas triggers my body to flood it with glucose, depleting my sugar stores, okay. biohacking. I'm not actually replacing it with anything. I'm just wasting it. But are those artificial sweeteners not bad for you as well? Only when combined with sugar from fruits and vegetables. So artificial sweeteners, they're linked to cancer when combined with fruits and vegetables or the toxin in fruits and vegetables that creates cancer, contaminated sugar. It's very fascinating. Uh, yeah, yeah, artificial, they're linked to cancer when you eat fruits yeah. with them. The whole point was to, for the sweetener was to not have contaminated sugar in an apple or a banana. You, okay. so I, I took something to replace the sugar while I ate the sugar. Yeah. It doesn't it's a replacement. A not a, yeah, you get what I'm saying? It's to replace, not augment. So if I'm, if I'm eating an artificial sweetener that's supposed to replace the sugar that's contaminated and I still eat the sugar, my, my body thinks that, my body thinks that I've, I'm getting, you know, I'm releasing all the glucose in my shore. So it's in a mad, a mad rush to take that contaminated sugar and turn it into fuel. It's going to get stuck in my cells and kill me later and called cancer. Biohacking biohacking 